Now, when you think Germany, you might think the strange and unusual, and this is a place which I've been told really ticks both those boxes. Now, the locals tell me that I have to come to this bar here, uh, A, for the drink, and B, for the crazy, weird, fun house type of experience that only this place offers. It's a bit cool. I don't know what to expect, but let's give it a go. So I'm in East Berlin about to head into what's known as the Labyrinth, a unique art installation next to a little beer garden created around three years ago by a couple of crazy German artists that clearly had a pretty messed up sense of humour. I've been told it's going to be a bit of a wait, which is cool. Um, now, I've also had to pay 10 euro and I've been given a gold coin. That's going to get me entry into what's called the Labyrinth. Now I've been told inside it's actually pretty dark and I won't be able to see much and I really don't think this camera will be too good with it all but I'll give it my best and, uh, and see what happens. After waiting around 30 minutes, one of the staff calls me over to this little door and I walk into a, a tiny room alone. It's about the size of a phone booth. I put the coin I was given before through a little slit in the wall and I'm plunged into total darkness. A door opens behind me and I walk into this. I make my way up some stairs in the pitch black and uh, eventually come to a bit of a platform. Now, bear in mind, normally this is done in total darkness, but I've actually, at this stage, turned on my iPhone torch so that I can get something on video. I'm about to go down a slide, which would be, honestly, terrifying if it was in the dark. It's scary enough as it is with the little light that I have from my iPhone. Oh. 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 What? I get out from the slide and basically it's just ladders after tunnels after little gaps in the walls and flashing lights and crazy sounds. It's an absolute head spin and you really don't know where to look or what to do. Bear in mind, the guys that designed this actually use nothing but junkyard recycled materials that they found all over Berlin, and you can really tell it's absolutely crazy. The sounds are ridiculous. The lights are flashing at you. You've got mirrors, tiny little rooms. You've got no idea where you are, and you are extremely claustrophobic. Some of the sights and sounds that you see are just ridiculous. You've you got to wonder what the hell these guys are on. Now, when I first entered, the staff member that showed me how to get into the labyrinth said there's no proper way of doing this. He said, spend as long as you want, go where you want, and work out what your senses are telling you to do. He said, open your eyes, open your mind, and basically use all of the senses that you've got to explore the labyrinth. He said there's no correct way or wrong way of doing it, and I can really understand why this place is like nothing you've ever seen in your life, and um, it's just such a unique experience. Now you've got to remember that a lot of this is actually done in, in the pitch black in total darkness which just creates the most insane experience and that I had my iPhone torch on for a lot of for the sake of the video uh, but saying that even when I had a little bit of light it was still just ridiculous some of the things that you'd see and some of the things you'd experience. <laughs> Seriously, it can be a pretty scary thing. I mean, especially if you're doing it by yourself, you're seeing some ridiculously weird things. You've got the crazy sounds and you're going through some very tight spaces. Do not do this if you are in any way claustrophobic. I'm not gonna fit in there. I can't fit in there. That's too small. <laughs> That's tiny. 
All of the weird music and the sound effects, all of the sounds that you're hearing on this video are the sounds uh, that you've got playing through your head while you're trying to navigate your way through the labyrinth. This is the most surreal experience. It's um, it's like you're in a dream. You've got music and strange sounds going on. You don't know where you are. There's a huge degree of claustrophobia. And you're bumping into people that pretty much had the same trippy experience that you are. But it is awesome though. This is seriously one messed up place. Now when you go into the labyrinth, you start off one by one as individuals. So you're not with your mates and you're able to experience the thing for yourself. That's great, but saying that, you are actually in the position where you can lose your friends and not know where you or they are. Okay, I've been here about five times now to this same little corridor. I, I am totally lost right now. And I just want to get out. <laughs> When you're wandering through a maze, when you're hot and sweaty, you're claustrophobic and you just want to get out, it doesn't help when you end up in this room. If I don't make it out, my housemates can have my car and uh, oh, just wipe everything off my computer. So to just put things into perspective, I've been wandering around the same dark maze of tunnels for quite a while now. Eventually, after being in the pitch black for at least an hour or so, I made it through to this room which was basically totally white. It's a bit of a shock when you've been in the dark for so long, but it was a little bit of relief before I went back into the darkness. After being in the maze for, well, close to two hours, finally I got up some stairs, made my way to a door to see the magic words uh, that I've been looking for for quite a while. That has to be one of the trippiest experiences I've ever had in my life. Awesome fun though, an amazing experience um, and definitely something you'd only find here in Berlin, that's for sure.